Hi everyone, welcome to Sainin How to Study Chinese. This is HSK Level 1 course, and I'm your teacher Ronnie. Today we are going to learn Lesson 15, 第十五课. 我是坐飞机来的. 我是坐飞机来的. I came here by air. Okay, this is today's topic. So now first, let's just, just move on to our warm-up part. Two groups, one group, picture, one group, words. Okay, so let's, let's see the new words. First one is 飞机. 飞机, it means airplane, airplane. Next one, 出租车, 出租车. 出租车, which means taxi, taxi. Next one, 大学, 大学, this means university, university. Next one, 饭店, 饭店, we all know 饭 means meals, and 店 means store, so stores for meals, that is restaurant, restaurant. Next one, 听, 听, this means listen, okay, listen. Next one, 开车, we've learned it in last lesson, it means drive a car. Now I will give 15 seconds and please fill in the blanks. Okay, time's up. Now let's see the answers. First one, 飞机, it is really obvious, which is D. Okay, next one, 出租车, 出租车, this one's pronunciation is a little bit tricky, even for Chinese. This one means taxi, and taxi is F. Chinese taxis look like this. Okay, next one, 大学 means university, it is a next fan dian fan dian actually it is e because in china we will sometimes call a hotel as fan dian fan dian next one ting listen b and last kai chu drive is c okay now let's move on to our text one and first let's see the new words first one ren shi 认识, 认, 认, 十一, 十, 认识, and she is the neutral tone. Now read after me. 认识, 认识, okay, this means to meet, to know, to recognize. Okay, to meet, to know, recognize. So it is 认识你很高兴. We will say 认识你很高兴 to say nice to meet you. Okay, 认识你 means to meet you, and 很 very 高兴, 高兴, we will learn about this word later, which means happy, okay, happy, so nice to meet you, 认识你很高兴, and if you want to say know someone, you just put someone after 认识, okay, for example, if you know David, David, so you can say 认识大卫, we've learned the translation of David in Chinese, this is 大卫, okay, so know David, 认识大卫, next one, if you don't know, don't know David, then try to guess how to say don't know someone, don't know someone, the negative form of it is 不认识, okay, 不认识, you just need to put 不 in front of 认识, and we need to pay attention to the tone sending of 不, okay? 不认识. So I don't know David. 不认识大卫. 不认识大卫. Okay? And try to ask a question. No, David. A question. No, David. Then we just need to put a ma after 认识大卫. So this question is 认识大卫吗? 认识大卫吗? Okay, 认识大卫吗? And try to say, know this Chinese character. Know this Chinese character. How to say that? It is, know认识. This is这. 
and we need to put a major word for it. And a general major word, really common one, is ge. So zhe ge. And Chinese character is tan zi. So this sentence is zhe ge. 认识这个汉字 Okay, 认识这个汉字 Okay, if we don't know, then 不认识这个汉字 Okay, I will type it for you. This is 认识这个汉字 Okay, 认识这个汉字 And how to ask about a question about know this Chinese character? How to say that in Chinese? It is 认识这个汉字吗？认识这个汉字吗 ？We just need to put a ma after it, okay? Put a ma after it. Then we can get a question about it. 认识这个汉字吗 ？Okay. Then try to ask, where did you meet? Where did you meet? Because 认识 also has this meaning to meet. Where meet? Where did you meet? So this is. First, where is 哪儿 And we need to know at where, right? So, 在哪儿在哪儿认识的 is where did you meet? Okay, 在哪儿认识的在哪儿认识的 Okay, this is 认识 Next one is the second word, 年呢言年年 Read after me, please. 年年 Mian. This means ear. Ear. We already know this word before, right? And how to say one ear? One ear. It is 一年 right? 一年 and two ears. Pay attention to the character two. Two ears. It is 二年 No, it's 两年乐阳两 Pay attention to it. When we are talking about the time, the clock, we will still use 两 right? 两 okay. 一年两年 So how many years? How to say that? How many years? How many is 几 So we just need to put 几 before 年 So 几年 How many years? And which year? How to say that? Which year? Which year is? 哪年 right? 哪 is which? So 哪年哪啊哪 Okay, this is about year. Next one, the third word is 大学的啊大西学学大学 It means college, university. We've learned 学 means study, right? 学 means study, and 大 means big. 大 means big. Okay, so guess how to say primary school. Primary school. Primary school. It is 小学 Okay, it is 小学小 means little, and 学 means study. Okay, 小学小学 And try to guess middle school and high school. Middle school and high school. We can know from middle. How to say middle in Chinese? It is 中 right? 中 because our noon we learned it. It is 中午 right? 中午 So middle school, high school is 中学之中中 okay? 中学 and try to say, hmm, try to guess how to say university students. University students. How to say students? It is 学生 right? So university students, 大学生 We don't need to say 大学学生生 sometimes can used as the simplified version of 学生 Okay, so 大学生大学生 means university students. And when you go to university, we will say 上大学 Okay, we will use 上 To express, go to university. 上大学 Okay, and your university classmate is 大学
同学, okay, 同学, don't forget about the words we've learned before, 大学同学, okay, now let's read these words from start, each for twice, read after me please, 认识, 认识, 年, 年, 大学, 大学, okay, very good, now let's move on to our text, I will read it and please listen carefully. 你和李小姐, 是什么时候认识的? 我们是2011年9月认识的 你们在哪儿认识的? 我们是在学校认识的 他是我大学同学 OK, now let's see the, see the text sentence by sentence First one is 你和李小姐和 we've learned it means and and it is used to connect two elements. It is not used to connect two sentences. Okay, don't use it to connect sentence. 你和李小姐 means you and Miss Lee. Miss Lee, 小姐 is used to call young ladies, right? Young ladies. And Li is a very common Chinese family name. Now, 你和李小姐 is the subject of the sentence, right? And 是 means to be, to be, and it is the verb. 什么时候, when, right? 什么时候, when? 认识, 认识 means no, meet each other, no, meet each other. So this sentence means when did you and Miss Lee meet each other, know each other? Okay, 你和李小姐是什么时候认识的? And let's see the answer. 我们是, we are 2011年9月认识的. Okay, we've met each other, we've met each other in 2011. And it is September. Okay, let's see. In these two sentences, the time word is after the verb, right? After the predicate. So some of you might think, isn't it should be before the verb? Yes, but this is a special, special structure. 是, 的, 是, 的. Can you see that? Here is, in these two sentences, there are all 是 and 的, 是 and 的. This is a structure used to emphasize time, place, or how this thing happened. So that's why we will put this time between 是 and 的, okay? This is a special structure. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. 你们在哪儿认识的? 你们在哪儿? 在哪儿? At where? At which place? 认识的, know each other. 我们是, we are 在学校, at school. 认识的, we meet each other in the school. And she is my university classmate. 她是我大学同学, university classmate. Okay, really easy one. Now let's try to read it from the start. Read after me, please. 你和李小姐是什么时候认识的? 我们是2011年9月认识的 你们在哪儿认识的? 我们是在学校认识的 他是我大学同学 OK, now let's try to read in rows I will be A and you will be B 3, 2, 1 你和李小姐是什么时候认识的? 你们在哪儿认识的? 你们在哪儿认识的? OK, now let's switch the row. You will be A. Please start. 
我们是二零一一年九月认识的。我们是在学校认识的，他是我大学同学。Okay, now let's move on to text two. Let's focus on the new words first. This one, 饭店，附案饭，德宴店，饭店 ，which means restaurant or hotel. Read after me, please. 饭店，饭店，给饭店。饭 means meals, right? Meals. And 店，店 means shop, shop. And another way to say about restaurant, we've seen it before. It is 饭。馆 right? 饭馆 We've seen it before. Okay, this is 饭馆 which only means restaurant. And 饭店 it can mean hotel too. Next one is 出租车出租车吃屋出租屋租吃屋车 Please pay attention to the pronunciation here. Don't be too hurry to pronounce、uh, pronounce this word. Just pronounce it slowly, but right, okay, but correct. 出租车 Read up to me, please. 出租车出租车 Please don't read it as 出租车 or 出租车 It is 出租车 Okay, 出租车 It means Taxi, cab, taxi, cab. Okay. Next one is 一起一起 It means together. Read up to me, please. 一起一起 When you want to say eat together, eat together, we will say 一起吃饭 Okay. Do something together. We will put that thing after 一起一起 do something, okay. 一起 do something, 一起吃饭 Okay, now try to say, um, study together, okay. Study together. How to say that? Study together. We will put study after 一起 right? So it is 一起一起学习 right? 一起学习 and go to the shop together. Go to the shop together. It is 一起去商店。一起去商店。Go to the shop. 去商店。Go to the shop together. 一起去商店。Okay. Now try to say a more complicated one. It is eat together with friend. Eat together with friend. Eat together with friend. Try to guess how to say that with somebody. It is actually 和朋友一起吃饭 Okay, 和朋友一起吃饭 or 跟朋友一起吃饭 This 和 we've learned before. It means and, right? It can also mean with. And this 跟 Then it means with two. So, 和 or 跟 plus somebody and plus 一起 do something, right? 一起 plus a verb. 一起 do something. It means do something with someone. 和朋友一起吃饭，跟朋友一起吃饭。Now try to say study with classmates. Study with classmates. Okay, how to say that? It is 和同学一起学习 right? 和同学一起学习 or 跟同学一起学习 Okay. Now try to say go to the shop with mom. Go to the shop with mom. It is. It's 和妈妈一起去商店 or 跟妈妈一起去商店 Okay, very good. 
This is 饭店出租车 and E T. Now let's try to read it from the start. Each for twice. Read after me. 饭店，饭店，出租车，出租车，一起，一起。Okay, very good. Now let's move on to our text. I will read it and please listen carefully. 你们是怎么来饭店的？我们是坐出租车来的。李先生呢？他是和朋友一起开车来的。Okay, now let's see the sentence by sentence. First one, 你们是 blah blah 的。Okay, this structure happened again, appeared again. So we are going to talk about this structure later in the language point part. Okay, so for this time, it is emphasizing. 怎么来饭店 ？How, right? 怎么 means how? How did you come to the hotel? Okay, 来饭店。来 means come. Okay, 来 means come. So this is used to emphasize how did you come here? And the answer is 我们是 we are 坐出租车来的。We've learned 坐 before. It means sit, right? Sit. And here, 坐出租车 means take taxi because we sit in the taxi. So every transportation we will sit, we will use 坐 For example, take the train, we will say 坐火车火车 means train. And when we want to say take the plane, we will still use 坐坐飞机 It is sit the plane, sit the taxi, sit the train in Chinese. Okay, 坐出租车来的 We take the taxi, came here. Okay, this take taxi is used to describe 来 right? And I asked 李先生呢 No, is used to ask about the question we've mentioned before, right? Ask about the things, the situations we've mentioned before, and. The situation mentioned before, we are talking about the manner, how the method, how we came here, right? So Li Xiangsheng now is actually asking, how did Li Xiangsheng come here? And this is the answer. Ta, he, the subject, shi, he is 和朋友一起开车来的，和 somebody. 一起 do something 开车来的，开车来的。This is the structure we've learned in the new words. 和 somebody 一起 do something, do something with someone, together with someone. Okay, this is the structure. 和朋友一起开车来的。Okay, drive to come here, drive to come here. Now let's try to read it from the start. Read after me, please. 你们。是怎么来饭店的？我们是坐出租车来的。李先生呢？他是和朋友一起开车来的。Okay, now let's try to read in rows. I will be A and you will be B. Okay? 你们是怎么来饭店的？李先生呢？ Okay, very good. Now let's switch the role. You will be A and I will be B. Three, two, one. 我们是坐出租车来的。他是和朋友一起开车来的。Okay, now let's move on to next one, next text. We can see there are three new words. First one is 高兴，高高兴兴，高兴高兴。It means happy, glad. Read after me, please. 高兴
高兴 Okay, this means happy. So we've learned before. It is 很高兴认识你 It means happy to nice to meet you. 很高兴认识你 Okay, 很高兴认识你 Or 认识你很高兴 These two words, the word order is, uh, they are both right. Next one is 听特音听 Read after me, please. 听听 Ting it means to listen. Listen. So listen to the music is ting in yu. In yu is music. Okay. In yu. Ting in yu. Okay. When you say listen to the CD, listen to the CD, then it is ting CD, right? Ting CD. And when you say listen to the songs, it is ting ge So you listen to anything, just put that thing after ting ting plus something. Okay, ting plus something. And there is one way to say hear from someone. Hear from someone. And this structure is ting someone shu. Shuo Shuo read after me please. Shuo 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 Shuo. So when you wanna say hear from the teacher, then it is Ting Lao Shi Shuo. Okay, Ting Lao Shi Shuo. If you hear from your friend, then Ting Peng Yo Shuo. Ting Peng Yo Shuo. And hear from Mr. Zhang. Ting. Zhang Xian Sheng Shuo Ting Zhang Xian Sheng Shuo Okay Ting Shei Shuo is listen hear from someone. Next one is Fei Ji for a Fei Ji Yi Ji Fei Ji read after me please Fei Ji Fei Ji it means airplane Fei means fly Fei means fly and Ji means machine. So, Feiji actually means flying machine in Chinese, flying machine, airplane. Okay, so how to say take plane? We just learned it in the last text. It is 坐飞机 right? 坐飞机 sit plane, sit plane, okay? 坐飞机 okay. Now, let's try to read it from the start, each word twice. Read after me, please. 高兴高兴听听飞机，飞机。Okay, very good. Now let's move on to our text. I will read it and please listen carefully. 很高兴认识您，李小姐。认识你，我也很高兴。听张先生说，您是坐飞机来北京的。是的。Okay, now let's see the text sentence by sentence. First one, 很高兴认识您 Here, in this sentence, they used 您 instead of 你 to express a uh, and respect, right? A respect. 很高兴认识您李小姐 Miss Li. And 认识你我也很高兴 Knowing you, I am happy too. 我也很高兴也 means to also as well. 很高兴 very happy, very happy. Next one, 听张先生说 hear from Mr. Zhang. We just learned this. 听谁说 this structure. 您是坐飞机来北京的。您 you 是 you 是的 here. This structure happened again, appeared again. 坐飞机来北京的。So in this sentence, 是 the structure is used to emphasize the method Zhang Xianzhang take took, right? The method he took. He 坐飞机来北京 He took the plane to come to Beijing.、Okay. And B answered, 是的 yes, yes. So when you wanna say yes, you can say 是 Or you can put a the after it, 是的 Or you can say 是啊是啊 We just learned ah,、uh, 
in last lesson. Okay, 是呀，是的，是 they're all right. Okay, now let's try to read it from the start. Read after me, please. 很高兴认识您，李小姐。认识你，我也很高兴。听张先生说，您是坐飞机来北京的。是的。Okay, now let's try to read it in rows. I will be A and you will be B. 很高兴认识您，李小姐。听张先生说，您是坐飞机来北京的。Okay, now let's switch the row. You will be A. Please start. 认识你，我也很高兴。是的 ，Okay, very good. Now let's move on to our language point part. First one is 是 blah blah the. This structure it is used to emphasize time, place, or manner. And in this in this sentence, manner actually don't mean how you acted, applied, or your behavior. It is about the method they take. How? Okay, how? So when you already know something happened. Something happened. All right, know that happened. Okay, and then you can use 是 blah blah the this structure to emphasize when, where, and how this thing happened. Okay, let's see. First example is 我是昨天来的 Okay, we can see there is the 是的 structure here, and inside it there is the time, place, manner, and the verb here. Okay, so first 我 I am the subject, and 是的 inside it. 昨天来的 okay, 昨天来的 So we can see here. Actually, the the real verb is here, 来 instead of this 是 okay. The real verb is here, and the thing we want to emphasize is here. The time. 昨天 I came here. And I came here when, 昨天 yesterday. So this is the thing I want to emphasize. Emphasize. Next one. 这是在北京买的。这是在北京买的。This is the subject. 是的 And inside it, 在北京 This is the place, right? 北京 is the place. And 在北京 I am emphasizing the place where it happened, and my I bought it in Beijing. Next one, 你们 the subject 是怎么好来饭店的来饭店的 This is the question. This is a question. How did you come to the come to the restaurant? So the structure of it is the subject. The subject right here. The subject plus 是 plus the place, the time, the manner, and plus the verb and plus the here. Okay, this is the structure. This is the structure. And let's see the negative form of it. We just need to put a 不 before it before 是 Okay. So first one. 我不是昨天来的。我不是昨天来的。I didn't came here yesterday. We just need to put 不 before it, okay? Before it. Next one. 这不是在北京买的。I didn't buy it in the. This is not bought in Beijing. Next one. 我们不是坐出租车的。Manner we came here 来的。Okay, 来的 So we can see here. We can see here the negative form of it. We just need to put a 不 before it. And please pay attention to it. 
in the in this in the positive form in positive form we can sometimes omit this shi omit this one for example first one i came here yesterday 我昨天来的, 我昨天来的, i came here yesterday okay we don't need to put shi and this one 这, 在北京买的, i bought it in beijing next one is 你们怎么来饭店的? How did you come here? We can omit 是 in the positive form, but in the negative form, no, never omit 是, okay? Never omit 是. And when you want to ask a question, you can omit 是 too, okay? In the question, you can omit 是 too. And when you want to ask about the time, you can use 是什么时候? Okay, and when you want about the place, then you can say 在哪儿, okay, 在哪儿. When you want to ask about the manner, how, then use 怎么. Okay, this is the 是的 structure. Now, let's move on to next part. This is the expression of date, expression of date. So we've already learned it before, and today we're going to learn more about the expression of date. First, in Chinese, okay, in Chinese, the dates are written and read from the big unit to the smallest one, big and smallest one, even if we, when we are talking about the time, the hours, the minute, we will write, the, write and read the hours first and then the minute and then the second and the years are the same we will say the years first and the month and then the date and then the week right and then the week and first we will need to pay attention to the major word first one the year is nian here nian okay nian and the month is yue yue and the date is ri or how ri or how okay ri or how and for example when uh, when we want to say 2000 years 2000 years we will say 2000年 okay 2000年 for the years we will we will read the digit by digit digit by digit for example this one 2008 and august 8th it is 2008年, right? 2008年, 8月8号, 2008年, 8月8号, okay. And when we want to say the week, a week together, then we can say 星期五, 星期五. And please pay attention to the week here. We wrote the Chinese character. We didn't write the numerals. Okay, for the dates, the years, the month, we will use the numerals. But for the week, we will use Chinese characters. Chinese characters. Okay, now try to read it after me. 2008年 8月8号 星期五 Okay, 2008年 8月8号 星期五 so this is the way to read Chinese dates. We will read the years and the months digit by digit, okay? Digit by digit. Okay, let's see it. Let's see the first example is 2014年 5月 okay? For the years, we will read digit by digit, but for the months and dates, we won't read it digit by digit, okay? Because there are only two numbers. We will read just the numbers. For example, the, the August, we will say 八月, and for the December, 十二月, right? 十二 is 12, 十二, 12, December. And for this, 11th, we, will, we won't say Yi Yi Hao or Yao Yao Hao. We will say Shi Yi Hao. And uh, uh, answer a question. When will we read E as Yao? When will we read E as Yao? 
when we are talking about uh, telephone numbers, right? The telephone numbers. Okay, but in the date, no. Okay, next one. 今天几号,星期几? This is the way to ask about the date. And the answer is 今天九月十号,星期三,九月十号,星期三. The September, September the 10th. And it is Wednesday, September the 10th. Next, 我们是二零一一年, listen to me, 二零一一年, I read the year digit by digit, and I read yi instead of yao, okay? 二零一一年九月认识的, we know each other in 2011, the September. Okay, and here is the 是的 structure happened again. So, now let's try to do a little summary about the expression of the date. We will say the biggest units first, which is year, and then the month, and then the date, and then the week. And when we are writing, we will write the date, we will write the year, the month, the date in the numerals, but for the week, we will write Chinese characters, okay, Chinese characters. And when we are reading the Year, we will read it digit by digit. 2011, But for the month and the date, we won't read it digit by digit. We will read the whole number. Okay, whole number. So this is the expression of the date. Now let's move on to our exercise. First one. 我们是在巴黎的 Bali it means Paris, Paris, the translation of Paris in Chinese. Bali, Bali. Okay, so pay attention to this structure. 是的 here, right? 是的 here. And 在巴黎, which means where, right? Where, at which place? So we need to put what here? A verb, right? A verb. The subject plus 是 and plus plus the time, place, or what? Time, place, or manner, and plus a verb, and plus a de. This is the structure we just learned. And we need to put a verb. So this might be what? Two people, they meet each other, right? Meet each other. So how does it meet in Chinese? It is 认识, right? 认识, and 是 is a neutral term, okay? 认识. Next one. 我没看见李老师。他是什么时候? What? 他是什么时候? What? The first, 我没看见李老师。I didn't see. Teacher Lee, 看见, we blend it, it means see. We didn't see little teacher Lee. 他是什么时候? 是, when? This structure, we need a what? We need a de at the end of a sentence, right? Shi blah blah de. It is emphasizing when did she do what? And here we need another verb. So we can say when did she come, which is lai de, right? When did she come, lai de. Ta shi lai de. I didn't see her, but when did she come? When did she come? Okay, next one. 这些衣服不what 今天what的是昨天买的 Okay, first let's pay attention to this sentence 是昨天买的 是的 here, 是的 here, this structure Okay, 是昨天买的 It is emphasizing the time, yesterday Yesterday I bought it Yesterday I bought it. And here, 这些衣服不, no. It is a negative form of 是的 structure, right? I say, I didn't bought it today. I bought it yesterday. I didn't buy it today. I bought it yesterday. So, 不是, we need a 是, right? 不是今天. 今天 is the time we want to emphasize. And we need another verb which is my buy my okay my last one woman 
我不喜欢坐出租车。I don't like to take taxi. So we what? We drove together. We drove together. 我们是一起开车来的。开车，可爱，开车，车。OK， 开车来的。This is the answer. Now let's move on to next part, which is the trisyllabic words with starting with a fourth term. Fourth term. So as usual, let's pay attention to this line with the third term at the end of the at the end of the syllables. First one is 健身馆健身馆 Read up to me, please. 健身馆健身馆 This one, 健身 means work out, and 馆 means a place. We will separate it into two and one, right? Two and one. 健身 nothing special, and 健身馆 Next one, 矿泉水渴望矿七源泉是为水矿 means mineral, and 泉水泉水 means water, water. So mineral water. It is 矿泉水矿泉水 So 泉水 is together. What should we do? Just put 水 into half the tone. So 矿泉水矿泉水 Okay, next one. 大使馆 Embassy. 大使馆 So in this three syllables, 大使 means ambassador and 馆 means a place. So we will put 大使 together and 馆 at the end. So 大使 we will put 使 as a half the tone. So 大使馆大使馆 Okay, 大使馆 Next, 电话卡 phone card phone card. 电话卡，电话 ，telephone 卡 ，card. So nothing special. Just read it as 电话卡 Okay, 电话卡 So for the these choice of words, just pay attention to where should we separate them. Okay, where should we separate them? When you when you just cannot find where to separate, then just separate them into two and one. Okay, two and one. First two and the last one. Okay, now let's move on to the next part. The single component characters for today. First one is 年年 It means year. Okay, year. So first, let's see how to write it. First one is the short left turning, and then a horizontal, and then a little bit longer one, and then a very short vertical, and then a longest horizontal, and then a vertical in the middle. Not that complicated, okay? Try to write it with me. Left turning horizontal, and then another horizontal here, and then a left turning, uh, a vertical, and then a horizontal, and then a vertical in the middle. Again, left turning horizontal, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, the longest one, and then a vertical in the middle. Again, okay? Again, left turning. Horizontal, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, the longest one, and then a vertical in the middle. Okay, try to practice it more after the class. Okay, next one is 出出屋出出 of 出租车 Okay, 出租车出 It means to get out from some something or somewhere. Okay, get out 出 Try to write it. So first, it is a vertical turning, and then a vertical, and then a vertical in the middle, and then another this thing, and then to close it. So anybody still remember this character? This means Shan Mountain, Shan Mountain, and put two mountains together, you can get Chu get out. Okay, try to write it with me. First, this. Vertical and turning, and then a vertical. Okay, and then a long vertical, and then write the same structure again. Okay, try to write me again. Don't write this word too long. 
try to write it more more like in a square okay try to write it like this a true 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 this one is really easy so now let's move on next one is fate for a it means fly. We can see in the ancient time, originally it looked like two feathers, two feathers, and actually means two wings. And today we will write it like this. So first one, it is this thing, and then a uh, left turning and the dot. So please don't write this as this. Okay, this is wrong. This is right. Try to write it with me. Okay, try to write it like this. This one is really easy, okay, really easy. Try to practice more after the class and please don't write it like this. This is not right. Okay, now let's see the two radicals for today. First one is Cao Zi Tou. This means Cao and Cao Zi Ao Cao means grass. Cao means grass. So, because this is grass, so it is usually related to grass, trees, plants. Okay, first one, cha. We can see at the top of cha, it is tao, zi tou, radical tao, it means tea, tea. So, tea actually is the leaves of some plants, right? So, this is about grass. Next one, cai, zi ai, cai. In the top of Thai, we can see it is Cao Zi Tou. This part is Cao Zi Tou. Why? Because vegetables, they are plants. They are green plants. That is Cao Zi Tou. Next one is Bao Gai Tou. Bao Bu Ao Bao Bao. This part, this thing, is usually related to houses. Houses. It is like a, um, like, like to cover something, covering something. So first, this is an, an, it means to settle. And we can see at the top of an here. This is radical bao, bao gai tou, right? Bao gai tou. Because to settle means you to have a room or have a house. That's why we will use this radical to express settle. Next one, jia, 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 home, home. This is usually related to a house, right? Your house, your family. So this is jia with a bao gai tou, radical bao. So this is all for today's class. Thanks for listening. And this is the last lesson of this course. So please practice it more after the class and still hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.